Campers, like vehicles, need to be maintained on a regular basis. This one is coming up on its six month anniversary. So today I'm gonna to go through the camper, check things out, do some maintenance work, and just make sure everything is working the way it should. This video is sponsored by 3-in-1 Brand. The first thing on my list is to treat all the rubber seals around the camper. And the reason it's number one on my list is it's the thing I should probably be doing more often than I am. Um, but there are seals just about everywhere. Uh, seals in the doors, the rubber seals in the doors of the uh, truck. We have seals in all of these boxes that line the boxes. The door, there's one that goes around the roof. In the windows, they're literally everywhere. So we have this three-in-one RV Care rubber seal conditioner. And it says it reduces friction and wear, it's water resistant, it prevents cracking and fading, and extends the life of your seals. So this is a UV shield, and it's gonna be particularly good for the seal that goes around the roof, because it's getting sun anytime we have the roof up. So let me start on the door and I'll just work my way around. So to use the rubber conditioner, uh, they tell you to wipe down and clean the different seals. So I'm just wiping these off a bit. And then what I'm gonna do is just spray. And then wipe the conditioner into the seal. And that's it. Now I just have to do the entire camper. You know, after all of our off-roading adventures, even though these are sealed, we still get dust and stuff in. So it's good just to clean everything, inspect it, and make sure the seals aren't coming off, aren't cracking and stuff like that. And then I just go around, spray them down. If I don't wanna get overspray into the bay, I can just get that nice and wet and then do it that way. Seals look a lot better already. I did notice that I'm gonna have to get up there and clean the canvas as well. May need to wait on some of that since we don't have a ladder to get up there. But as I'm going around doing the seals, I also wanna open these hatches. And there's a lot of dust and things in here that I wanna clean out. Um, this one doesn't happen to have a seal, but these do. So I'm gonna come in here with the uh, three-in-one seal conditioner for that as well. Uh, but I also wanna make sure we don't get any things like hornets or that coming in here and making nests. So just looking down and everything, making sure all the wires are connected and nothing is popped off because we've been doing a lot of off-road driving and that sort of thing. Now this is the backside of our hot water heater. And like I said earlier, it's good to just visually check everything. But also, in pay in particular, if you have a gas-fired hot water heater, so come back and this little vent right here is what controls how rich or lean the mixture is gonna be. You just wanna look in there and make sure you don't have dirt, rocks, debris. If you do, you can clean it out, get a wire brush or that, but this looks pretty good. I'll just put this back together. I'm not gonna take this panel off. This is for the furnace, so that's all good. But I will take a look in there to make sure we don't have any critters or nests. This is the back of the refrigerator. And again, there's another rubber seal around. There's also quite a bit of dust since these are vented, so. Yeah, everything under there looks good, no critters. Can kind of wipe this down a bit.
Now you're never gonna be able to keep all the dust out of this, so I just like to do a wipe down. And that also, when you wipe things down and there's a layer of crud there, you can start to look and see if any of the sealant they've put around these joints has cracked or come loose or pulled up. So as you're doing that, just keep an eye out and you can make sure that if there is, you just run down to the store, get some new sealant and seal it right back up. So as I was going through this bay, I noticed that, well, now it doesn't, oh, there we go. It doesn't want to do it as much as it did before, but this one is squeaking. So the other thing I'm doing is going around to all the joints, throwing in um, some three-in-one multi-purpose oil. I really like this stuff for the little hinges here. All you need is a little drop. And just wipe up any extra. There we go. Kate's been getting on me about this door too. Much better. Oh. A little bit more on this guy. There we go. All better. Now every camper is different. So whatever camper you happen to have, if you need to go through and do maintenance, look through your owner's manuals and make sure that you know what needs to be looked at, maintained, and always just giving a good visual walk around, looking up underneath things, opening hatch doors in that is always a good idea. Uh, the next thing on my list is actually the Norweld tray. So these boxes and things are all bolted to the tray. The tray is bolted into the frame of the truck. And what I'm gonna do is go through and check all of those bolts to make sure nothing has come loose. It's a good thing I'm checking these because a few of them have been actually fairly loose. And I think a lot of that is once you get off road or even on the road and things start shaking, uh, nuts and bolts can come loose. It's the reason why if you get your tires rotated or a new set of tires put on, they always suggest about a hundred miles later, go around and check the torque of all of your nuts to make sure nothing is loosened up. Okay, so all the bolts look good. I had definitely had to tighten some up, so it was good I went through and did all of this. Now, since I'm over here, I'm gonna check the gray tank that I built. I secured this in with steel straps and rubber coating, so I wanna make sure that all the straps are still intact. Um, nothing is actually cutting into the pipe and that sort of thing. So, I mean, that thing is on there solid. And it looks pretty good. I will say one of the benefits of having a lifted truck is that you can get under these things and do pretty much all the work you need to without having to lift it off the ground. This part is a little loose, but there's not much I can do about that. But I mean, all the seals look good. I'm not getting any leaks. This is also a good time to take a look at your different suspension components in that. I know we're talking about camper maintenance, but it's always good to take a look around your truck or vehicle. Um, and everything looks all right. Okay, well, let me put my tools away and we can go inside. There are a couple of maintenance items in there. Uh, but if any of you are wondering what kind of tools I carry around, we will put a link somewhere in the video 
and you can check out my tools video. Now things have changed a bit since we've been in the truck camper, but a lot of this stuff is still the same. One thing pretty much every RV has are these vents, be it Fantastic, Max Air, or something else. Most of them have covers over, and what I've found is after time you get dirt, dust, and if you're cooking a lot, grease will kind of stick to that mesh. So it's always good to let's see, take these out, pull down, comes out. Be careful when you pull it off. A lot of times dust will just fall to the ground. So first thing I'll do is rinse this guy off. I have noticed with these that if there's a lot of gunk, what I'll do is take a bit of dish detergent and just put it on there, scrub it, and typically that'll get off anything that's there. Uh, then I take the wet rag and I just come up to the fan and kind of wipe around each blade. If it's really bad, there's a screw in the middle, you can take that out and wash the fan a bit more thoroughly, but this is good enough for now. Okay, let me get this put back in. There we go. Another thing, this um, fantastic vent tends to come loose. So every now and again, I grab my screwdriver. Yep, just come in, tighten it up a bit, and then you won't lose a screw. Check the function, all good. Everything's working. All right, next. Next item on my list is the furnace. Uh, there's a lot of dust in that around the intake, so I wanna wipe that down, and then I'll just take the cover off and inspect the inside, make sure there's no debris, animals, insects living in there. Yeah, seems as though we've had something going through there. It looks like we had a spider in here making a bit of a nest or web. Everything else looks good though. Okay, now it's time to check the batteries. So what I'm looking for in here is to make sure that the batteries are nice and tight. The straps aren't coming loose. There is a air vent here. So I wanna make sure that no insects have come in, but everything looks good. Wires are tight. We're good here. The last item on my list is the shower. So shower is here. We've been taking one every other day. This is also a very high traffic area. So what I want to do is look at the shower pan and make sure that the seal going around is still good and we haven't scuffed it up or anything. And I do carry extra sealant with me. The seal around there looks really good. However, you can tell that the seal on this side, where we come in and out, has started to pull away. So what I'll do is, I'll just add a little bit more around this edge, but everywhere else it looks pretty good. Okay, now to make this look a little nicer. Usually with the extra, I'll just come in and double check the corners, things. Grab my, where did my rag go? 
Oh, here it is. Just clean off. Okay, let that dry, but otherwise the shower pan looks great. And I think that's everything on my list. I don't think we could have picked a more beautiful spot to do our maintenance work on the camper. We're in the mountains of Montana boondocking and it's just beautiful out here. Anyway, I'm glad we did the work because I noticed a few bolts on our tray were loose that had to get tightened up. And one thing I would like to do more often is to go through and treat all the rubber seals in our camper, maybe once every two months. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see more cool content, head on over to our website at wertherussos.com and we'll see you next time. Bye.